told you I would be, and I'm sorry it took so darn long. It's been, I don't know, about a month or something since I last played. I had originally hoped to get back to it sooner, but, you know, sometimes life happens, <laughs> and uh, so it took me a little longer to get back to it than I had planned, and yet here we are. So, um, I would like to continue playing through this game. Uh, I know that uh, the hype around it has kind of died down because, you know, it's been out for a little while now, and uh, it's a pretty short game from what I understand, but I don't really care. I want to play through it and see where it goes, and a lot of you seem to uh, want to come along for the ride because I got so many requests to return to this series, so uh, here we are. Thank you again for your patience, uh, waiting for me to get back to it. Uh, the, uh, long-suffering fans of my Thief series will be very familiar with me taking long breaks between episodes of a series, but because this game is shorter, I think, I think we will be able to finish it up in a a more reasonable time frame. And uh, speaking of the Thief series, uh, now that I have a little bit more free time, I do intend to get one of those out very soon as well. So you Taffers, you know who you are. Uh, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes peeled. Shouldn't be too much longer. But for now, we are back playing straight. Um, and this is, just in case you've somewhat forgotten, a, a game about being a cat in a post-apocalyptic cyberpunk city inhabited by robots. And um, we used to live with our cat friends on the surface, but we took a tumble and fell down into the depths of the subterranean city. And we are on a journey to get back to our cat family, to be reunited with our cat friends and family on the surface. And uh, along the way, we have discovered a whole society of robots uh, left behind by the people who used to live here. And they are uh, sentient, you know, they kind of act like humans. And, um, there is a, a group of them, uh, known as the Outsiders, who, um, are trying to escape the city and get back to the surface somewhere way up there. And, of course, this is also our goal. So, we have, um, learned a bit about these Outsiders and, and their plans to to get back out to the surface, and um, we met the son of one of these outsiders, um, and um, the the father uh, robot um, was doing some research and and found a way to, I believe, um, combat the Zerks, and the Zerks are these kind of head crab like. Uh, enemies that swarm you and they will eat you, uh, robots and cats alike. And they are one of the main reasons why the dwellers of the Undercity here have not been able to escape to the surface because the Zerks roam the dark places of this city. So, um, we are searching for this robot fellow's father who is part of the Outsiders and has this technology for fighting off the Zerks, and he went missing somewhere in this uh, area in which we now find ourselves, which is, I believe, the sewers is where we're headed. So, I think we're probably going to be dealing with a lot of Zerks, and probably doing a lot of running, and trying to escape them. Uh, so this might not be the most relaxing episode of the playthrough, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll just have to see. Looks like there's a memory here that we 
we can scan. Let's look. So this is our little robot friend B12, and uh, he was the assistant of some kind of scientist uh, back before the humans all disappeared, or died, or whatever. We don't really know what happened. And B12 is also searching for the surface because he has realized that his last um, imperative, his, his final command from this scientist, I guess, was to reopen the city to the surface. So we're all trying to get back up to the surface, basically, the cat, B12 here, and the outsider robots. B12 says, look at how huge this wall is. Uh, I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. And maybe that's why they failed. So yeah, B12 here lost all of its memories and we are slowly recovering the memories as collectibles scattered throughout these environments. Uh, there appear to be sort of elements of like um, classism in this setting and society. Uh, even with the robots, I believe, amongst the robots, there are castes. Uh, we have been hanging out with the, the slums crew, but I think as we head up through the city, we might... Oh, dead end. That's ominous. Uh, we might encounter some, like, higher class robots, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, little slide. Oh, great. More Zergs already. Great, great, great. Okay, so we're, we're gonna run. <laughs> that was, that was quick, actually. I kind of thought we might get to go a little further before running foul of the Zergs, but I can hate these guys. Honestly, like, <laughs> they don't give you any any way to combat them, and I assume that's going to change soon, because we're going to get this weapon, or whatever, floodlight thing, that uh, allows us to, to chase them off. That's what we're down here seeking, but, um, man, it's pretty unforgiving when... When... They come after you because you gotta spam the B button to try and get them to disengage themselves from you because they just kind of grab onto you. But they very quickly overwhelm you. So, uh, oh, we have to go down here, okay. Unfortunately, the Zerks are pretty small, just like our cats, so they can get into these small places equally well. There, are we safe now? I think so. I don't think they can get us up here. Okay. Gosh. Pretty brutal. I love the platforming exploration of the city. I'm less thrilled with the Zerks in this game. But yeah, I do think we will be uh, getting a way to deal with them pretty soon. So that gives me hope. Uh, where are we going here? Oh, this will help us swing back. There we go. Yeah, maybe. Start getting 
murdered by Zerks right off the bat, but I, I did warn you. <laughs> I did warn you. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Oh, okay, we're going on a little ride here. Oh, kitty, no. Oh, kitty. Oh, poor kitty. Are you okay? I think we're okay. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. Doc is the the character we're looking for. We must be close. Oh dear. Kitty kitty. Oh no, we've got a bad leg. Oh, we broke our leg. Poor kitty. Well, we are searching for a character named Doc. So hopefully he can help our leg. Oh, maybe it's just sprained. Okay, we got it back. I guess it was just sprained or something. Temporarily injured. I do love the environments in this game. They are easily my favorite part. Well, the cat might be my favorite part, but the environments are pretty cool. They're really pretty. Oops, not that way. Go up. That's a couple times now that our cat has taken a pretty bad tumble, but uh, managed to come back okay. What's all this? Okay, maybe this is the way we're supposed to go. Not quite sure, but I did notice there was a little, a little, um, opening in the fence down here. Maybe this is a collectible or something. Uh, this looks like a memory. Yeah, let's go get it. The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage, fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get to the outside, what if we find ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientist would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. Got another memory. Looks like there's maybe one more memory to be had in this... This, um area that we're currently in. I guess the idea here is this robot was fishing. Oh, there's a couple of circs over there. <laughs> just kind of bouncing up and down. Let's just rest for a moment next to this poor deceased robot. Slightly morbid, you know. <laughs> Given that he's sort of dead, but... I wonder what the knives are about there. There's knives in the, uh, through the wood there. I like these Zen scenes, though, where you, you rest and you just get this kind of, you know, scene. I like this music, too. has an excellent soundtrack. I kind of like just vibing here, you know? Just listening to the music. I 
suppose we should move along, but this game is really good for vibes, you know? after taking that tumble. some of the Zerk eggs. Really hoping we don't have any more of those anytime soon. What's all this? Okay, we can use this. Oh, there's all these power plugs here. We might have to go collect plugs to power this up. Not quite sure, but I'm betting we do. Looks like we need to activate that to do something. Let's follow the cable and see. Uh, the little meows are so cute. Oh, what the heck is all this? Okay. Where is this leading us? your Zerks. Maybe. Oh, there's Zerks in a cage in here. Ah, uh, this might be Doc's flat. Yeah, sure looks like it could be that way. Okay. Well, this is where it terminates. Well, jerks. Yeah, I bet you'd like to munch on me. You ain't gonna. Um. Oh, is this dog? Oh, good. <laughs> he is alive. Zerk, who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. That's it, really. You just kind of got here and then gave up. <laughs> Surely you have some way of... Weren't you working on a weapon, Doc? <laughs> We're stuck. These Zarks will attack as soon as we step outside. I know, but that was like your old thing, right? Okay, well, I guess we can go activate that thing and see what happens. And I thought, yeah, maybe we have to like... Get... Power plugs to activate it, but I'm thinking maybe not. Oh, let's go scratch the wall, though. Gotta keep those claws sharp, you know? Zerks like confetti. 
this baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work, uh, of course. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. Problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew. And with all the circs around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fumes, it should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. All right. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's another memory. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Ah, uh, nice. Looks like we've unlocked all the memories for this area. Uh, I assume Doc went upstairs. Yes, can robots love? An important question. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Very good. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Naturally. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to, dis er, to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Yeah, well, that's... That's why we came here, so... Oh boy. Uh, we can go down here, but I don't think there's any good reason to go down there yet. That looks like a place with a lot of zerks, so maybe we'll go there after. For now, let's uh, see about replacing this fuse. This actually might be where we were just looking. Oh yeah, okay. It's just an alternative route. That's good to know. Depending on what the Zerk situation is like, we may have to come this way. Alright, 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 alright. Meow, meow. I'm just looking around. Oh, hey, vending machine. Can we use this one? We can't. Not yet, but maybe once we get the generator going, perhaps we can. Uh, we get stuff. We get, like, a cola out of vending machines, I think, that we can trade. There's a another robot back in the slums that will trade stuff for the cans. Okay, you guys. Are you ready for this? It's a pretty straight shot from here to Doc's place, but I bet you it's going to be swarming, so it might be challenging. Let's try it out. Yeah, the energy drink stuff, that's what I was talking about. But here we use the fuse. Great Scott. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, but he might be able to zap them. Oh, very good. Oh, I wonder if we can like hang out in his in his light. <laughs> I wonder if we should just run for it though. Okay, he's kinda zapping them for us as we go. Oh crap. 
but he can't zap these ones. Oh yeah, that's why we're in the red light. Gosh, it's so unforgiving. Like once they get onto you, there's just like very little hope of recovery. Like one that you can shake off, but two or more just becomes impossible basically. Get them all. Okay, let's go. Oh boy, oh boy. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. You got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Oh, really? Did we consult the drone about this? B12, do you want this thing? It worked. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now, let's get back to the village. I'm coming home, son. So you're telling me that now my, my little drone is responsible for our safety as we return? Wait, can I defluxer these guys? Would that be cruel? Gosh, the knife on top's a little, uh, dark. You know what, I guess we'll just leave them to die in a cage, I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm not sure how to activate the defluxer yet. Oh, hey, here's another vending machine. Can't use this one, though. Uh, maybe that other one isn't usable either, I don't know. Alright, are you gonna tell me how to use this thing? That would be really good. Oh yeah, okay, this is gonna be a tutorial moment. Take out all those zerks so we can get through. LB. Oh dear, oh B12, I'm sorry. Oh no. Wow, it's working great. As I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. Okay, so we really can't use it for very long. Before it overheats, gotta use it in short bursts. But I will say, that was pretty cathartic. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty vista. Very nice. The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. Okay, yeah, well, let's follow that and see what we can do about that. Uh huh, in there. Can we jump up there? No. Uh, but we can maybe. Where's this gonna take us? Can't jump up there. Oh, got it. Alright, gotta get into here. We gotta roll, roll, roll. Bump. And then we gotta. No, no, no. No, no, no. Stay. We gotta jump up here. And we should be able to roll, roll, roll. Perfect. should let us get up there and hopefully fix the power. Oh, we're still the kitty moving through the vents. What is all this? 
house. What is all this garbage? Well, looks like we gotta go down. Oh, here's the switch. What's over here? Nothing really. Okay. I guess the power's back on now, so... Doc should be able to move through. Oh, don't you... Oh, that's not good. Really? Really? I swear, every single time I run into Zerks in this game, I die at least once. Our defluxer has, like, zero energy. <laughs> or, like, it overheats so quickly. Okay. So I guess the strategy here to, is to, like, zap them. Like, kind of aggro them together into... Into, uh, clumps, and then zap them all at once, eh? Oh, also, it, it kind of... It takes a moment to activate. Come on, the heck. It's kind of hard to use, I'm not gonna lie. Please close the damn door, Doc. X, 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 X. Okay, at least they're after me and not them. Okay. Oh, almost got him. One more round of the mirror. Should do it. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, at least now we have some agency. Like, we don't have to just run. We can fight them, but it's a little cumbersome to use this thing. Ah, well. Let's go talk to Doc. Phew. That was close. Let's go back home. Yes, let's. has been through a lot. <laughs> oh gosh, are we going to have more stupid Zerks to deal with? I really hope not. Look at these stacks of chairs. What do you think? What do you think this place was? Looks like a bunch of deck chairs. Seamus. That was his son, right? I guess robots can love after all. Ah, oh, getting some pets from the Guardian. <laughs> Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Alright, um, let's go talk to Momo. Momo is another one of the outsiders. He was the one who sent us to find Doc in the first place. Doc and Seamus look so happy. 
I think we did a good thing together. Can we talk to these guys? Let's talk with Doc and Seamus. Hi, Daddy. What's up, Rosie? No, oh, Billy. Do you know my, my son, Seamus? It's thanks to him that I came back from that damn place. Yeah, sure. I'm so happy he's back. Oh, and did you meet that weird orange creature walking around? You must see him walking around. So you survived the Zerks after all. Do you have the ten cans you owe me? <laughs> wow, Billy. This is really impressive, Doc. Nobody has survived that long in the dead city. Now, who is this? Joxy. I don't think we've met Joxy yet. Look at all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. I like Joxy's face. You should go visit the Barterman. There's something for everyone over there. Actually, maybe we did meet Joxy. I think we did briefly. Yes, the Barterman. The Barterman has one item that I have not yet bartered for. It is this covered painting, question mark. Azus, the Barterman. We've only got the two energy drink cans so far. I want to get that third one and find out what that what that thing is. It's an ancient relic, he says. Okay, let's go talk to Momo, who's apparently over this way by the entrance to the sewers. Which I think is over here. Uh, I don't think either of these are Momo, though. We've got Rico. This is Zack. Wait, so where is Momo then? This is not the entrance to the sewers. Let's go talk to the Guardian again. Maybe I misunderstood. Momo will meet you at the sewers to help you with the rest of your journey. Oh, he points us this way. Okay, well, I don't know where we were then. That was somewhere else. That's not the sewers. The sewers must be over this way. Ah, oh, yeah, there's Momo. We've also got our friend, uh, Morosk here. Um, who is a robot musician. We've helped him find all of his, uh, music, all his songs, except for one. We're missing one. It would be nice if we could find that, as well as that last energy drink again. Wonder if they could be in the sewers. Let's talk to Momo. Oh wait, this is Benzu. Okay. Uh, Momo's waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Uh, because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any circus coming through. I see. So that kind of implies that we're going to be leaving here and maybe not coming back. Momo has a boat and is clearly going to take us somewhere. I can imagine some sort of, uh, you know, on rails sequence where Momo's, you know, piloting us in his boat and we have to blast the Zerks with our light uh, weapon, maybe. Um, but gosh, I would dearly like to find that last piece of music and that last can of energy drink before we carry on. And I kind of feel like we've been everywhere, everywhere around here, so I don't know where to go to find those 
those last few items. But you know what? Maybe this is a good natural stopping spot for now. I know this will have been a shorter episode compared to the last ones, but truth be told, it's getting pretty warm in here where I'm recording. Despite being in the middle of September, uh, it's pretty warm here. And if I take a break here, that will allow me to look up a, <laughs> look up a walkthrough and uh, find where those last couple of things are, because I don't really want to leave them, so... Um, I know that's a little cheaty, but I could spend quite a while wandering around looking for them. I'd rather just get them and carry on, but, um, so I might do that, you know, off camera. <laughs> I might, uh, might just, uh, go get those items, or at least look it up, and if it turns out that they're, like, ahead of us somewhere, and that we are going to be able to return here, then I, I won't worry about you know, getting them yet, um, and we'll just carry on, but if they're somewhere around here, and I can just go get them, then I will do that, and then we will carry on from here next time. Either way, I won't progress through this door here until we, uh, come on back here for another episode, so no worries there. Well, my friends, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching, for coming along on this uh, part of the adventure in Stray. Um, the next part should be along uh, relatively soon, like a lot sooner than the last break. <laughs> it won't be a month again. Uh, hopefully next week, that's my goal, is to get another episode out next week. Um, and thank you again for your patience. I know it's tough. You know, YouTubers abandon series all the time, and so when there's a big break, people assume that that's that, but uh, thank you if you've come back to keep watching. I really appreciate that, and um, I would like to keep moving through this game probably on a weekly basis uh, for the next while until we finish it, so uh, I look very forward to having you back here next time for our continued adventures.